Hello guys, welcome to the course on Hadoop Basics. My name is Sijesh and this video I will explain what is a name node and data node. So you might have already seen uh, what is an HDFS or Hadoop distributed file system and what are the different components of HDFS. So if you look into the HDFS in detail, so you can see it contain uh, multiple services or multiple components and it work in a master slave fashion. So we have a component called name node, which is the master component and a worker component called data nodes. And typically we can have a single or a two or one or two name node and a multiple data nodes. So the name node, as I said, it's a master component and which is responsible for all the metadata operation. So I mean to say like all the metadata information stores into its memory. So why it's keeping this information in memory is for getting much better performance or access speed and data node like there will be multiple data nodes involved and which store actual data and if you look into the HDFS architecture so you can see a name node sometimes multiple name nodes involved one is in active and other in standby state or else if you have a single name node and there will be a secondary name node which is responsible for uh, doing the checkpoint operation and as i said the name node will keep all the metadata information in its memory or ram so that is if you restart or stop the name node everything will go so the name node will store this information in a persistent way in two files so they are called fs image and edits and whenever the name node restart or uh, stop and start it will be using these two files or in case of recovery operation so we can make use of these files uh, for reconstructing the name node so that is fs image and edits and data node is responsible for storing actual data so you can have a multiple data nodes many we can have it with a single or in real time production we can have a multiple data nodes so data node is responsible for in, for storing actual data blocks and there will be a periodic heartbeat mechanism between the name node and data node so data node will send the block report and all other information to the name node and name node will contain the complete data about uh, i mean the metadata of the data and that it will be stored in its RAM or memory and periodically it take the backup of that in memory into some file that is called FS image. So this is how HDFS works at very high level. So we have a name node and multiple data node. So name node will store the complete metadata in its memory or RAM and it periodically take the uh, I mean the backup of this into file called fs image and edit and data node store actual data or the blocks associated with the files and there will be a periodic syncing or a heartbeat sync between the name node and data node and a user who is trying to read or write data into hdfs first communicate with the name node and name node will have the complete information so where this data lo located or if you are writing to a file or where to write all this information as given by the name node and based on that information the client can write into the data node directly so i hope uh, this is uh, clear to you so thank you for watching this video we'll see you in the next video bye